just about sailing January 2021. It's really nice to be able to say 2021. 2020 was awful for all sorts of reasons that we all know about. Um, 2021, it's not great so far, but hopefully it will end better than it started. <coughs> the theme of this particular video is serenity. The state of being calm, peaceful and untroubled, according to the dictionary. But that's, of course, not the only meaning for the word serenity, as many of you who have watched this channel before will know. What I thought I'd do is quick intro to this channel and then review the project plan and so on. So, my name is Paul. My daughter, who you will see doing a lot of the work, um, is Lucy. And the boat is called Serenity. That's the introduction that's done. I like to get a video out each month. So there will be one out each month. It might be out at the beginning of the month, might be out at the end. In December, I put out three videos, so, you know, who knows, but there will be at least one. At the moment, I've got a few other projects, which I might go into detail later, I, I'm not quite sure, but they're taking up an awful lot of my bandwidth, so there's not going to be a huge amount of, of boat work until the weather gets better, and I do need the weather to be better to finish some of the projects. So just to let you know, so this video is mainly going to be looking at plan updates. I've got the plan, which I'll post up in a second. Um, but one of the things that I really like to do at the beginning of the year is to kind of get everything in order. I'm extremely lucky that Serenity is literally in my back garden and I have a big container full of all the parts and things and it's got into a bit of a mess. So the first thing to do was to, I was going to say to tidy up the container. The first thing to do was to get my daughter to tidy up the container. So let's have a quick look at the before and after part of actually tidying up the container. Right, the current task is to get this a little bit tidier. It's become a complete and absolute nightmare. So I've put myself some time at the dump and I want to sort this out into project float things. Got to put it higher than that. I can't see. Lucy is on her way back. She doesn't want to be on the video because she dropped a tree on her face the other day. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a plaster, a black eye, and her nose is swollen up. So you won't be seeing Lucy again. She's going to go and do some cleaning inside the boat. <laughs> Idiot. She literally drops a log on her face. Or it fell off the back of a trailer anyway. Go and do your cleaning. So, yeah, that's the task at hand. Um, I will show this again when it's tidied up. Right, <laughs> so this is the after. Lucy has basically gone around and tidied things away neatly so that I can easily put them into a sort of project based. Actually, they're, they're reasonably into sort of project based piles of foam. And particularly this end down here, that is really huge. Go stand over there, Lucy. So stand yes. in front of your. I'm brilliant. You did, you did a good job there. And it was all for love, wasn't it? No. Never is. <laughs> Love of chocolate. So yeah, you do, you do get some chocolate. So excellent. This will help. This I don't know quite how you've managed to get all the. Yeah, this space. was completely blocked off. You just had a little corridor here to. Yeah. So and I think I had about five bags of rubbish, which went to the recycling. Yeah, I can actually take that. Point. Put one. Excellent. Good. Thank you very much. I'm brilliant. It's good to have somebody to do all the menial work. <laughs> so there we go. The next, the next thing that I want to do um, is to actually sort the areas of the container out into sort of project based areas so that I can just go straight into a project and finish it. Um, that should be fairly easy because the work that Lucy's done is actually, she, she's pretty she knows what most of the projects are, so it's, it's almost in that order. So that should help um, an awful lot. So let's go into the... Um, no, actually, first, <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen... Lucy got me a present the other day. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen, um, and I think they did it for insurance purposes, in the olden days with wooden boats, they used, people used to, have, used to get a model of their boat made, and I think that was partly so they could see what it looked like. You know, you've seen these wonderful things that are sort of made out of wood and all polished, and they're exact mini replicas of the boat. 
and I'm, I'm not sure, some of you might be able to correct me on this, I think the insurance company used to have one so that they would know what the ship was that they were insuring. Now what Lucy did is she took the loftings, these are, these are loftings, these are like the plans for a boat, sent them off to a CNC company, there's, they, that's what a CNC stand for, computer numeric cutting or something like that. Anyway, they made, a, well let's just have a look um, because I got the kit through and whilst we're talking and looking at the project I'm going to get my evil twin to actually make up this model and we can see what it looks like by the end of this video hopefully if he gets a, gets a move on. So here we go, here are the um, uh, the plans or what they call them, the loftings for Serenity which have all been put on a CNC uh, couple of boards and basically I push these out or cut them out, I'm not quite sure yet, glue them together and I should have a model of my boat so let's um let's get on with this and i'll show you a few stages as we as we do it there we go i'm sure he's more than capable of finishing that before the end of this video so let's have a look at the intro to this project first of all i'm not going to give any time scales at all because this might take me six months it might take me a year it might take me two years that's that's really not um an issue and one of the things that people say they very often use this analogy and they say oh this is not a sprint it's a marathon well, in my case, it's not a sprint or a marathon. It's more like an egg and spoon race. And I don't know for American viewers if you have egg and spoon races. This is a very popular national sport. And I'll, I'll show a clip. You need to see what egg and spoon race actually is. Marks. Get set. <laughs> Go. No! It's the eggs. They're not organic! <laughs> so there we go. Not a sprint, not a marathon, an egg race. That's the way this is going. <laughs> and I'm perfectly happy with that. Here's the plan from last year. I just wanted to talk through these quadrants because this is a little bit weird. Um, the way that I put this project plan together. Uh, because for a lot of people they've got a particular goal, a particular aim and then you have to tick everything off the list on that. I've got kind of three, four things here, Again, starting at the, the top left hand corner, must. These are things that I just need to finish, need to do on the boat to get back in the water. The next one, number two, day sailing liverboard. The things that I want to do in order that I can get back on the boat, living on it permanently and perhaps day sailing from a port, which would probably be in the west of the UK, somewhere with sort of rocks and things, somewhere with all tides access, I think I'd want. With Watch It, I didn't have where I was living before, didn't have all tides access, so I'd like to be able to go at any time. And then the two more sort of voyaging plans, either the Scottish Islands, which is number three down the bottom left hand corner, or Greece. So why have I ordered it that way? Well, I whinge on too much about my health on this channel, so I'm not going to whinge on a bit more, but which of those I manage to do depends on my, on my health. But here's the key thing. Many, many years ago, 20, 30 years ago, I decided that when I retired, I wanted to go cruising around the Scottish Islands and write philosophy books, which is a slightly weird thing to think. I was actually living in Hamburg at the time. I was studying, at, studying philosophy at Hamburg University. I went to a boat show. I'd already done a bit of sailing and liked it. And I thought this is the ideal way to retire. And if I did that, that would be 10 out of 10. That's what, that's what I want to do when I retire. Um, and then a few summers later, I went around the Greek islands. And I thought, this is nice. This is a bit like Scotland, but with sunshine. <laughs> so then I started to think, yeah, I quite, I quite, but I could do the same in, in Greece. So that's where the whole Greek thing came up. And that would also be 10 out of 10 if I did that. So you might be thinking, but what if all I could do because of the health problems, is to actually live on the boat somewhere and go out for day sails, wouldn't that be right down here? No, that would be about 9 out of 10. So it doesn't actually take anything away from how happy I'd be and how fulfilled I'd be if I only managed to fill in the things on those top two quadrants. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense, but I thought it's worth saying that because very often when you have a project plan, you kind of have the goal and then you do everything, you do a full court press to actually get there. It's not like that. I've got no time scales. I'm already ahead of schedule because I've got quite a few years to go before I do retire. So if I do anything before that, I'm ahead of schedule. 
even though serenity is taking a long time to get going. Anyway, enough of this wittering on. Let's replace that with what I've done. And I've got a copy of this here, so I'm going to be staring down and looking at this as I do this. Right, so all the parts are numbered, and basically you kind of just put them together in order. And I think you can see are these called stringers or something? I can't remember what I don't really know, because it's very much built as if it was a wooden boat, but I'm not, I'm not quite seeing it yet. But everything is numbered, and you just keep following the numbers. So I guess it's a question of keeping the faith and... Um, just keeping on going, okay. I'll check in with you after another hour or so. I've, I've added one new one down at the bottom, handrails, because um, the handrails were kind of rotten. And, but that's simply a question of, of cutting that out. Basically, I'm going to probably, I'll, I won't do this in this video, but I'm going to make a new pair of these handrails simply by cutting this out, by routering it and literally making it exactly the same. I got these pre-planed so that the finish is quite nice on the top and the bottom, although obviously I'll sand it. Um, water tank, I might put in a temporary solution because I'm very happy with the, the way the HDP has worked out. I think I'd want to start that project from scratch because I'm now much better at the welding um, and so I'd want to do that properly and if that takes too much time I'll just put in a temporary solution. Right so th this really is very nicely cut out um, with the CNC machine because literally things just sort of slot together and then you just press them in firmly. Really really clever. So, um, I'm not sure, I think I'm probably working on the stern at the moment, because um, I've got to say I'm still not quite sure. Um, obviously this won't have the modifications that I've done, so I can't, for example, see the modified um, chain locker and drain sorted out, but, um, uh, and obviously it's still very much the framework at the moment, but... Um, Carry on, I think it's beginning to look a little bit more like serenity. Anyway. Um, Galley and Cooker, I keep on saying that I, I need to sort of focus on this. I've actually mocked it up for once. Let's have a quick look at this. This is kind of it. This is the kitchen as it's going to look. And you have to imagine that sort of white Corian top. Um, easy access into the fridge room here. Nice surface here. There's going to be a drawer here. Uh, there's going to be a pull-out drawer in one of these cupboards. Um, space under the cooker. Haven't quite worked this out yet, but this top is going to slide up and slide down out of the way. And then when I want to gimbal the stove, as we saw earlier, I simply pull this up. And there we are, gimbal stove. And you saw all the toys and things that I've got to go in the sink. So, yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's a really kind of nice, nice area. And of course, the other thing it gives me um, when this is down and I will work out a mechanism for this is loads and loads of work surface. And my magic sink as you saw before so yeah couldn't be couldn't be happier with that so yeah the galleon cook that that's going to work out very simply once the varnishing is done and lucy's done an awful lot of work on that um new seacox simple job let's just have a quick look around this so this is an unused um through hull from when the sink used to be opposite the heads that i filled in ages ago there's another one under here that's the impeller off the speed log, um, which was for the depth sounder. Uh, there are three along here towards the back. One of them is from the sink, the other one is from the bilge pump, and the other one was spare. I'm going to replace that with two, I think, and the bilge. I'm going to put the manual and the electric bilge pump on the same thing. So that's just kind of on the water line. Right, this is towards the bow. 
there were two here underneath the um, V-berth, uh, which were from the old heads. So the heads was kind of here, but the hoses went through. Now I've already put one new one in. That's the discharge. That's going to be discharged from the holding tank, and there's going to be another inlet put in there. So I need to put one there. Um, and as you know, I put one at the front, which still needs a clam on it. And that is a proper through hole, though it didn't really need to be. Um, and that's for the drain from the anchor lock. So not a huge amount of work to do in terms of um, putting in through holes. Um, electric windlass, that's the latest project you've seen. I need to strip all of that out, finish the anchor locker, and then that's sorted. I was getting a bit confused as to what's the stir what was the stern and what was the <coughs> bow, but now I'm putting more of the bodywork. That's definitely the bow because it's more pointed and also you can see there that's that's the sea feather self-steering and the the I'm starting to worry now that I've actually put my rudder together slightly wrong when I did those modifications and also there's a lot of pieces left and I've only got 30 odd tea bags left. Oh look this spray hood dodger. I fitted the spray hood and the habitant which is down on the Scottish thing. Let me just show you what serenity looks like, what the back, what the cockpit area looks like and why it's quite a cosy sort of area. Um, but it's, what is it now, it's 2nd of October so I've literally just put the habitant up and it's great because I'm going to spend the day today doing writing because that's a little bit before the schedule but this is really good for a like garden shed type thing. So I have got my <laughs> entertainment centre, flask of tea, bits and pieces that I need, uh, various computers for what I do and it kind of gets me away from having to be down there which I've set up as a kind of a workshop and that's where all the work's actually going on. So I'm very happy with that. Going down in section three, standing rigging, um, I've had that inspected and there's no problems with it, it's fine but it, it was about 12 years ago that it was last replaced. It ha Serenity hasn't had an awful lot of work hasn't had an awful lot of voyaging since then, um, but I would still probably want to get it replaced before actually doing any major cruising. Anchor locker drain finished, that was a huge project. Internal grab rails, that's, that's quite an important one. I know where I'm going to put those. I think you can see that it's um, shaping up. Uh, obviously a few differences. The, this is, these are the original Yanmar engines rather than the Beta Marine, and of course the square port lights windows which I, I then modified so this is this is based on the original um, design and not not including the modifications so having got a little bit more of the hull shape on that's really shaping up and you can kind of see the similarity well it's incredible actually it's really like it's exactly a scale model so let's just finish this off then and I'll show you the finished article when I finished it diesel heater is fantastic Rewire is going to be probably the last thing that I do because for me that's one of the simplest jobs. Um, stern anchor would be nice, more battery power possibly. Hot water, that's simply fitting a colour of fire. Or one of those things that you can get that fits on the um, outlet of the diesel heater and actually just heats up an amount of water. Habitat we've talked about. I've got my electric bike which fits. Um, I'm not going to talk about the voyaging stuff. So here we go, finished. Very, very, very happy with that. As you can see, it's pretty much an exact replica of Serenity. Obviously, these are the original plans, so there are a few modifications. And look, they've even got the, even got the solar panels, which I haven't put on yet, but that's where I'm going to do the solar panels. So, as I say, very, very, very happy with that. Uh, anchor. I thought there was an anchor as part of the kit, so I'm going to go and have a look, see if I can find it and um because we wouldn't want it floating away would we so right Right, cannot find the anchor. Any, any, where's it gone? 
What's this? That's really odd. That looks to me like a primary buffer panel. Oh, I'm going to get into so much trouble for not tying it down, but at least I've got... <laughs> Whoops. So anyway, that's it. As I say, a little bit thin this, this week, but I am looking forward to seeing the model of Serenity. I'm expecting something absolutely perfect. <coughs> um, so all I will do is say goodbye. I wish you Serenity, calm, peaceful and untroubled. Or is that what it really means? What was that? Did you see that? Was that the primary buffer panel? It did seem to resemble. Did the primary buffer panel just fall off my ground ship from Old Bear?